Okay, YouTube, I want to do a two-week trial of something very different and something that I know very, very little about, but I know that a lot of people seem to enjoy it, and that is going to be the brand Unwashed. I guess this is kind of a whole lifestyle-ish thing for people who don't want to wash their hair as often but want to be clean, so I'm going to give it a go. Uh, this is my freshly washed hair, which is never my favorite state for it to be in because it's always extremely dry when it's freshly washed. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is using the Bio Cleansing Conditioner, which turns out to be the substitute for shampoo, if I understand correctly at this point. Uh, so I'm going to, be, going to use that, and then there is a anti-residue cleanse that you use more often, uh, not as often rather, you use this a couple times a week. And this is to give you a deep clean, so I'm going to try that out. And then the hydrating mask, which is to restore your oils. I also have the dry cleanser, which is to help refresh the feeling of unwashed hair so you feel more clean. So I'm going to try out these products for two weeks, and I'll be reporting back. Alright guys, I did it. I used nothing but unwashed products on my hair for the last two weeks. And here's what I'm going to tell you guys. I cannot wait to load my hair up with sulfates. Give it a good, deep wash and lather. Oh, Now I want to say something, and hopefully I can crumb off really clearly with how I say this. I do not think I was the ideal candidate for this hair program that I electively enrolled myself into. I think that if you have fine and in particular flat hair, you might not love this system. In fact, this system does have a lot of very mixed reviews. It seems that some people absolutely adore this brand and other people not so much. And funny enough, one of the reasons I wanted to give this a go is because of how well this system works on my fiance. Um, if, if you have that type of kind of thick and naturally gorgeous hair. This system may be wonderful for you. I guess for me, working with my hair requires a certain amount of work and over the years I've kind of figured out what works and what doesn't and I am, I'm part of Team Sulfates. I really am. I don't see any con for me personally but I do know that a lot of people have allergies to them and what's, what's nice about the Unwashed brand is that they do not use any parabens or sulfates in their products. Um, and the whole idea is that this is supposed to be a safe option for your hair. And it definitely would be if you do have an allergy to those ingredients. I guess my problem with it is if you do not have an allergy to those ingredients, you do not have to think that those are necessarily bad for you. Kind of in the same way as... Peanuts can kill people that have peanut allergies, and they can provide good micro and macronutrients to people who do not have allergies. I really, I don't want to use the word greenwashing because I don't tremendously think that's what's going on here, but it, it, it may or may not have crossed my mind a couple of times while looking at these bottles, which do tell you, uh, you know, final product not tested on animals, safe for daily use. Um, all of that is great if that is something that you're going for, but I, I don't... I don't ultimately think that the chemicals that we have come to be afraid of are necessarily bad. And you guys know I'm working on that video. I'm trying to trim it down from an hour so that I can tell you guys my, my thoughts. I definitely think there are dangerous chemicals out there, but I, I don't think that everything that we've been told is necessarily bad. Remember that just because something is natural doesn't mean it's safe. If that was the case, Socrates would not have died from drinking hemlock. But let's get into it. I, I do want to share my experiences with these. I do want to tell you guys how that whole thing went down. Uh, for the first week of using these products, I really did not like how my hair was looking at all. Um, but I will say that about one week in, I started to notice I did, in fact, have less oil production going on. My hair looks better now than it did one week into these products. Uh, and a particularly interesting side note is, what are these waves? I, I really don't know what to make of the fact that my hair went a little wavy. Um, my entire life, I've had extremely straight hair. So straight that I think my only experience with a, a straightener, a 
What is it? Is it a flat iron? I think it's called a flat iron. Probably my only experience with that has been accidentally picking one up in the store and going, oh, that's not a curling iron. <laughs> and now I'll go over the products that I did use. So first up is the BioCleansing Conditioner. I use this every other day. I do not wash my hair every day, so I did not see a reason to unwash my hair every day either. Uh, this pretty much leaves your hair in the state that it was going into it, except it adds in some silicones. Take that how you will, a lot of people are opposed to silicones. It's interesting that this product doesn't advertise itself as a silicone conditioner, um, but that is what it's doing. So it's basically, it's coating your hair in the little strands of plastic, which should kind of, in some ways, straighten it out. I think this would be a very anti-frizz system, that's my theory. And next up is the dry cleanser. Uh, this is okay. I don't really feel like this cleans my hair, or even as a substitute for it. It's just kind of like, maybe it's helping a little. Um, it doesn't have any residue, so that's nice. You won't get any of those white spots in your hair. Uh, it does kind of get the job done. My only critique with this is having denatured alcohol as the second ingredient means that in spite of this whole system being good for your hair, you're still drying it out with alcohol. Um, I don't think I'll buy this again. I used way more of this than I should have, and I'm, I'm, I can put isopropyl alcohol in my hair myself if I want to. Uh, I just, I choose not to. I do want to add something about those two, in particular the bio-cleansing conditioner. If you have bright hair, if you're doing the temporary hair, manic panic, that kind of thing, uh, you might actually really, really love this. This will give you a good alternative to washing your hair, but, you know, obviously my, like my, it's not like my hair ever was stinky or anything during this time of unwashing it. That was weird, but yeah, it never was stinky. <laughs> Just odd feeling. I think it would work really well to keep you feeling to keep you feeling clean and to keep your color very vibrant. Okay, next up I have the anti-residue cleanse and the hydrating mask. I want to talk about these guys together because they kind of go together and to be honest, I think I'll continue to use them. Uh, so the anti-residue cleanse is to take out everything from your hair, notably the silicones. I don't think they really tell you that's what's going on. Gently removes buildup. Well, the buildup is what you get from using silicones. So the point of this is to remove it. Uh, it, it's not, it does not have any parabens or sulfates. It instead uses some more newer discoveries um, in order to strip your hair of everything that you've been putting in it. And yes, your hair will feel very straw-like after you use this, which is to be expected with any type of product like that. Uh, so it's, it's nice that they do have the hydrating mask to use afterwards. Uh, and this is, it's basically a lot of oils and silicones to put back in uh, in order to give your hair a bit more softness after stripping it. I do think I will continue to use these. I liked them, but I want to occasionally give myself a good lather and do what works on my hair, but I think these will be nice to add in to my routine. These, however, are probably going right back to the fiancé who this system absolutely works for. Just not my favorites. I hope I managed to convey my experience with unwash without um, stirring the pot. Sometimes I really am that meme that's been going around. I'm not gonna lie. I've definitely gotten it. Dear Alice, we saw your video emails quite a few times. Um, but I mean, overall, I, I, I definitely think this would be great for somebody that has the exact opposite hair type that I have. I think I can actually boil this down really simply. I cannot put oils in my hair. It weighs it down, it makes it look awful. I need everything to lift, lift, lift. If you, however, can use oils, you're the perfect candidate for this system. You might actually love it. It does interesting things to your hair, but I can't say even now, even though my hair it is very much not what I like it to be. It doesn't feel unhealthy. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time.